At the age of 77, one Delaware County woman has a new career. Now she's written a cookbook mm -hmm. and is about to embark on a trip across the world as the book grows in popularity. Eyewitness News reporter Jane Carabeo joins now with the story of the success. She is a great lady, you guys. Uh -huh. You're going to love this story. Elisa Costantini is leaving for Tuscany this Friday. She's going to teach cooking there at a resort for two weeks. How great is that? And get this, it's her second trip to Italy after people in that country heard about her cookbook online. Before Elisa and her family, creating this book really wasn't about the recipes at all. Gnocchi, spaghetti. There isn't a day you won't find Elisa Costantini here in her new town square kitchen. Like this, like, On this look. day, she's trying look. to teach a novice who is admittedly ruining the gnocchi. Why, why isn't mine rolling like yours? <laughs> because you push it too much. Oh, <laughs> gnocchi is just one of 206 rustic recipes in Elisa's cookbook. Italian moms spreading their art to every table brings the Italian countryside to the Delaware Valley. But give me the joy I have to give, give, give. Elisa has done that with food since she was a child, cooking for her family in the Abruzzo region of Italy. I've been cooking when I was six years old. I make pasta with, with machine. I make everything. But she never knew she would create a cookbook. In fact, it wasn't her idea at all. She was in a deep depression. She had closed her eyes and said, I'm ready, just take me. Elisa's husband of 56 years died suddenly in 2013 on Christmas Eve. Their son Frank remembers seeing Elisa's joy of cooking slip away too. That was the one thing that we realized when something was seriously wrong. She had stopped cooking. One day I you know, came across her scribbles of, if you want to call them recipes. He turned to Kickstarter with the goal of raising enough money online to develop the recipes into a book. A couple days later we had few thousand dollars, 30 days later, $27,000. Realizing a publisher was too expensive, Frank got family friends to take the pictures and edit the text. Now, less than a year after its release, the book has sold nearly 7,000 copies and is about to go into its third printing. But that's not the point. The most important thing is it's brought her back to life. A smile back on Elisa's face and a laugh never far away. <laughs> They're making me feel a million dollars. <laughs> And Elisa keeps busy, you guys. She still works, cooking five days a week for special needs adults. As for her book, you can get it on Amazon. You can also find out more on her website, ItalianMomsCooking.com. Elisa donates a portion of the proceeds back to the community, including the ALS Association of Philadelphia. So you guys, this uh, is her book. Look how great. thick it is. Absolutely wow. great. Wow. What a project. And she didn't have all these recipes written down because, you know, she's just bits and oh, pieces yeah. here to exactly, taste the time exactly. so it really was a project to go through and write down exactly everything that went into each I love the fact that she's going to Tuscany to teach Italian cooking that's yes. right good for Came her from Italy that's and awesome. her birthday is next month so happy birthday a little bit early happy early birthday oh, thanks awesome. Jane great yes. story thank you